The annual Farm to Fork Festival returns to downtown Sacramento today. Thousands of people are expected to come in, and with that, of course, road closures around the capital. So let's go to ABC 10's Bridget Biorlo joining us live this morning. Bridget, what can we expect this year for the festival? Well, you see the setup is already underway in downtown Sacramento for the 10th annual Farm to Fork Festival. You will notice road closures as you make your way downtown. Currently, Capitol Mall between 3rd and 8th is closed, so if you can use free transportation, SACRT offering free rides, buses, and the rail lines as well. I want to bring in CEO of uh, Visit Sacramento, Mike Testa. You've been organizing this event, the 10th annual. What can we expect this year? Well, a big deal, obviously, celebrating 10 years of the region's agricultural prowess. We've got great free music. We've got cooking demos. Celebrity chef Tyler Florence is coming out for the first time. Uh, so we've got a lot of fun this year. Some things that we haven't done before to celebrate those 10 years. What does farm to fork mean for people that are unfamiliar? I mean, we have a huge agriculture scene in Sacramento. Many people might not know about it. And these vendors, they come every year to showcase what they can do, what they can offer. Yeah, we have more than 1.5 million acres of active farmland surrounding Sacramento. So this event highlights that. Um, you know, we grow so much of the food that feeds the rest of the country. So to, to celebrate that, to do an event like this, like you said, a lot of the farmers come out uh, and really show what they do. A great way to familiarize yourself with what grows in this region and pretty much everything grows in this region. So if you're a foodie, definitely come by for today, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. But also if you're a music lover, this is for you too, right? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. We have Ben Harper and the Innocent Criminals playing, Michael Franti and Spearhead are playing, Cannons is playing tonight. These are all free shows, so we encourage people to come out, enjoy the music, and again, celebrate Sacramento. The weather couldn't be better for it. Uh, how many people are you expecting? I believe 100,000 you got last year? Yeah, typically over the two days we get 100,000. You know, we've had it being 105 before. We've had it being really cold, so the weather this weekend looks perfect. And it definitely feels like fall. Nice brisk start, but it could be a lot of sunshine. So, Mike, thank you so much. But back to those road closures, Walt. You're just going to want to prepare for it. There's free bike valets if you want to ride your bike. And also at N to L from 5th Tooth 7th is going to be closed as well, so it is something to plan for as you plan your weekend. Walt? Okay, that sounds great. We can tell it's chilly out there. Mr. Testa has on his big puffy jacket, so he's <laughs> ready as well. All right, thank you, Bridget.